All right, so what I want to do is just give you some glimpses from my personal journal on this set of books so you can kind of see how they uh, personally affected me, my mind, my heart, what I was thinking, uh, and how I actually applied it to my life. Starting off with Go-Giver, just looking back uh, in March 2011 when I, when I read that book, uh, I wrote, without this philosophy, I really cannot implement my Christian way of thinking into business. And really, that's expanding on the fact that um, if you're giving to get, you ultimately aren't giving of yourself. There's, a, there's an agenda there. There's an attachment. We've all experienced that. I know I can think of times where I just gave to get, thinking I would get back out of it what I gave in, kind of like an investment. But what Go-Giver talks about is the investment into humanity versus the investment into the dividend, what you might get out of it really neat stuff. Seven levels of communication kind of takes that philosophy and gives you actual methods, seven different methods to apply to be able to continue these relationships and invest in people for investing in people, not for the dividend factor. And of course, there is that factor involved. And these books also talked about that because of the fact that there is a, an awesome result that comes out of this, but you're not doing it for that result. You're doing it because you want to invest in people. Um, the third book in this group is Remarkable Leadership. Just looking back in an entry uh, this summer when I read that book, uh, three different resistance levels that you'll deal with as a leader that you have to be conscious of and really be able to equate how you can be better at these things so that you can get the person or people that you're trying to lead to respond. Number one, they'll say, I don't get it. What does that mean? That means that they need more information. So you have to do your best to come up with something that's providing them with more information than you originally provided when trying to lead this person or this group of people. Number two, I don't like it. That's the emotional response to change. A lot of people don't like change. I remember when playing college baseball, we had a new coach come in, old coach really was set in his ways where everybody was used to how he coached the team. New coach comes in and everybody resists it because it's change. And a lot of guys quit that team. And it's a perfect example of, I don't like it, not because I don't like it, but because it's different than what I'm used to, and I don't want to change. Number three, I don't like you. And that really comes down to trust. Um, why don't they like you? What is the trust factor? How can you improve that? Um, some things that really uh, shined a light on me and showed me what I, I really need to work on as a leader, um, not just this year, but for the rest of my life, and, and not just in business, but especially with my family, as a husband, um, as a father. So just a few things from this group of books to apply.